Welcome to the August 2021 uh, Megawad Club, Doomworld Megawad Club WAD, which is Zone 400. Um, so this is a 32 map Doom 2 Megawad designed by Paul Corfiatis. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Peacorf. Um, <coughs> so. I guess full disclosure, um, we'll start with this is a, a sequel to his previous Zone 300. So Zone 300 had a maximum of 300 lines per level. Um, this map set has a limit of 400, which so it's actually kind of, it's easier the more lines you can put in a map basically to make a map look nice. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Zone 300. Uh, is the point I was going to make. Um, I felt like it didn't really do a lot to embrace or, or, or take on the line limit. It just basically made small maps. Um, and there wasn't much regard for... I'm just looking to see if any of these skull things are an opposite way. There wasn't much regard for the use of the lines um, and restraining their use. Um, to maximise what you could do with the looks um, uh, and and content more more so. How do you make a decent looking map that also has plenty of content? And I felt Zone 300 really didn't engage with that. Um, I feel at this point like this map so far looks like it's somewhat problematic in that respect too. Like all of these indents, they're very line heavy. Every single one of, you know, one of these indents is adding at least three lines to the, you know, because you actually need, um, you need four lines, obviously, one, two, three, three, four, um, but then you're splitting this line. So, like, if you figure normally, if this was a blank wall, like this one, there's just one line there from this stair to this stair. Here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines, because you've got the top as well. Um, so you've lost five lines there for that piece of, you know, and again here, you've lost at least three and sometimes more depending on, you know, and again here, you know. Um, so yeah, there's, you know, there's ways, I mean, you could have saved a bunch of lines here by, by having the base of this step be the yellow tags, be the yellow door tags, that sort of thing. There's so, you know, like I feel like he didn't really, he just made small maps rather than actually thinking about how do I minimize my line usage. And I assume that's going to lower the, yep. Now, I will say that conversely to my complaints about, you know, the lack of kind of consideration, putting these in behind here does, is actually a reasonable, you know, like, I mean, there again, there are better ways that could have been done in terms of line um, consumption. But yeah, it's that's a smart decision, or a smarter, a smarter, more line saving decision. But these indents, for instance, like, you know, there's a lot of wasted lines there in terms of, you know, if you're actually trying to maximise, and if those are stairs, I'm going to have words, and I bet they are. Um, in terms of embracing, yeah, line efficiency, not seeing a lot of sign that this is, that this is being done, um, which, you know, in a map set where line line constraints is a you know is kind of the whole point is a bit me and i'm pretty sure that yep they're stairs like stairs are the most and there's a bunch of stairs here too. Like stairs are the most line intensive thing you can do in Doom, basically. Stairs use up a lot of lines. You know. Um, if this was a lift, you'd have had 
one platform here for the lift and then one line here all the way down, one line here all the way down and no extra lines. There have been two lines. Instead you've got one, two... Hang on a sec, got to kill an imp. On each side, so you've got one, two, three, four, five lines going up. Is this a secret? It isn't. It's just detail. Five lines again, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen lines that you didn't need to use. Like, if you're actually trying to maximise gameplay for, for line count, this is not how you do it. And this was, yeah, to me, a problem with Zone 300. They were just bite-sized maps because not a lot of attention had been paid to how to maximise gameplay out of again versus lines. Um, which, you know, given that I created the 100 lines project that kind of started this whole line constrained doom design thing is something that's near and dear to my heart um yeah uh, something that i also did in um doom 404 oh great so map one we've got our first revenant do i care about you not really is that a... No, that's not a secret either. Don't see a reason to engage the Revenant just yet. Yeah, there's got to be a, something going on there. Okay, so that's a reason to engage the Revenant. He can actually get up here eventually. It's a peek off. Not a peek off Baron, because this is map one, but a peek off Demon to stop you rushing the exit. I expect to see this as a fairly frequent thing. But here's another. I mean, you're okay. Like, I'm not sure what, you know. You know, there's no need for three separate lines there. I mean, you do need to indent the door because it'll look weird otherwise, but you don't need this extra one here. This is reasonable, putting the exits in. Uh, so do we think there's a secret on this map? I guess we can... I mean, we haven't had anything triggers anywhere that looks like there might be. Yeah, there. Okay, well, let's go and have a look. Yeah, it's through here. Oh, yep, indented. Cool. But yeah, all of these stairs, very, very wasteful of lines. So yeah, I'm not at this stage seeing anything that makes me think this is going to be significantly different to Zone 300 and its approach to line usage, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but the gameplay, you know, I mean, it's an, it's an introductory map. It's fine. Works all right. So was that the only secret? It was the only secret. Didn't actually mean to do that. Wrong button. Okay. And back up save. So that was map one. I didn't do it. And this is map two, Tate. Whatever that means. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.